guys, Charmed Wrench here and welcome back to my channel and as you can tell by the title I am doing yet another Halloween tag. Hopefully this will go up before the end of October, um, I'm pretty sure it will if my scheduling goes to plan because my scheduling guys, oh my god, I've been trying to be like super super organised and I've like videos have jumped up for some reason before they were supposed to come up and I don't, I don't know what's happened but this should be up before Halloween because this obviously as you can tell by the title is a horror tag now uh, horror tag is going to be this is going to be really hard and I hope you stick around until the end and don't get too bored um, but I am going to give you my thoughts I was tagged to do this uh, horror tag by the lovely Enigma 77 reviews uh, she is just like me in fact she is way more goth and alternative than I am I wouldn't say I'm goth I am if I had to label myself as a style that I tend to go towards or gravitate towards I call myself alternative I guess um, I don't like to label things because I like a little bit of rockabilly I like a little bit of goth I like a little bit of alternative sort of clothing but um, yeah so I don't, if, if but if you love that sort of style you will love Enigma 77 so her channel will be linked below so you guys can go and check her out you have already heard me talk about her before because she sent me a gift box which was really really sweet of her but she has tagged me in this horror tag because I tagged her in a Halloween tag I have no idea how I'm going to answer these questions so I have the questions in front of me I'm just gonna try and you'll understand why I say I'm just gonna try once the video starts get going I'm gonna stop rambling and just go straight into the questions because you will be here all night otherwise and you'll just have to stare at my face well, you'll, you'll already have seen this makeup look but um, I'm bulk filming you guys know how it is we are gonna go straight into the questions the first question is a first horror movie that you ever watched see this I shall quickly briefly explain I don't like horror movies I don't like being scared I don't like be like jumpy stuff i don't i find horror movies it, it it's it must sound so weird coming from somebody like me because obviously i am a believer in the paranormal i believe in spirits i believe in you know that that sort of thing so horror movies for me because i believe in that i i just i don't know i and i don't like being scared like i have like I don't know I can't even explain it but I just don't like being scared so the first horror movie that I think I ever watched I think I was only young I briefly remember and recall Friday the 13th now the reason I say I briefly remember it because I think I was quite young and the only bit I know it was bloody glory glory <laughs> I know it was bloody gory stabby you know camp crystal lake I know that but the one part of that film that has stuck with me my entire life and I'm nearly 40 and it still scares the pants off me sounds really stupid is the end bit the where they think it's all over they're floating in the boat at that point I'm calm I'm like oh it's okay she survived or he survived I can't even remember who was in the boat and then all of a sudden out of the water comes the bad guy and jumps into the boat and then the movie ends I'm sure that's how it ends like oh, I, I can't I that scared me for life like absolutely petrified me for life I do not like scary movies because of that film so question two what's the movie the what's the movie that made you fall in love with ho the horror genre I don't have <laughs> like I don't like I said I don't like horror movies so there wasn't I didn't fall in love with them I didn't fall in love with them I avoided them so that's the only way I can explain it so if any new scary films come out I generally will avoid them like I will not watch them like I have seen the new it like movie I haven't seen the second part yet um but that I kind of I, I coped with that okay but it's the music that gets me the music and things that make you jump like you know you know it's going to happen because obviously the tension in the music but I hate jumping I hate being scared so yeah I don't have a movie that I love that made me fall in love with horror because 
I'm not a massive horror fan, but I'm doing this for you, Rachel. I am doing this for you. So question three is your favourite horror sub-genre, and it has in brackets slasher, psychological thril uh, thriller, thriller, splatter, torture, found footage, supernatural, etc. Now this, having those little brackety things actually really helped me a lot because I love supernatural stuff so for me if it was a film about the supernatural or thrillers and psychological and things that make you think rather than things that make you jump is more my thing so um, yeah I do like a psychological thrillery type thing like um, Stir of Echoes if you've seen that and uh, The Others and things like that so yeah I, I like those sort of movies it isn't something I would gravitate towards because, like I say, I don't like being scared, but I do like the ones that make you think as well as being slightly spoopy, spooky. But yeah, that's the best way I can answer it. If I will gravitate towards a horror, it will be more than likely something sort of supernatural, sort of thriller, psychological, make you think kind of movies. The next question is horror movie that scared you so much you couldn't sleep. And again, that would probably be Friday the 13th because that's the only one that stuck with me for life. And this is going to sound really weird, but another movie that to me should be a horror is E.T. I freaking hate that movie. I hate E.T. I have like a weird phobia of E.T. Like the thing petrifies me. Like you would hide behind a cushion with a horror movie. That's what I do with E.T. I cannot stand it. I cannot stand it and people love it and I don't understand it. It creeps me out. I hate that. <laughs> so yeah, E.T. <laughs> if that was classed as a horror, E.T. would scare the pants off me. Um, question five, what horror movies do you think are overrated? Um, I actually think Saw is very overrated. I'm not into the gory things. They don't, gory stuff does not scare me. Not at all in the slightest. It doesn't scare me so I think with Saw obviously I think they overdid it as well like if they just stopped you know after a certain point it wouldn't be too overdone uh, but yeah Saw I think is overrated I'm sorry these are just my opinions don't attack me I'm not a horror expert so that's what I think um, question six any horror movies that you think are underrated now this one I can answer and it scared the pants off me but I would recommend it. It is called The Autopsy of Jane Doe and I think it's a Netflix original. I'm not 100% sure. Me and my husband watched it and it scared the pan. I, I literally spent most of the movie like, like this but it's really good and very underrated and I don't think many people know about it. So yeah, you should totally go and check that out. Give you the gist of it without explaining. Um, you obviously by the title know it's about an autopsy of an unknown person, which is what a Jane Doe is. It is a supernatural horror film, which is probably why we gravitated towards it. Um, it is basically a father and son who are coroners and they experience a uh, supernatural phenomena while they are examining this body of this unknown woman and obviously it goes on it's really really scary well it's for me but I think E.T. is scary so um, but I really do recommend that if you do like you know a supernaturally sort of horror film highly recommend Diary Diary? <laughs> Autopsy of Jane Doe Diary of Jane Doe? No Autopsy of Jane Doe so that is that question question seven is who's your favourite movie monster it could be a literal monster or a really bad guy now I struggled with this because one name just kept coming into my mind and I can't I can't say anything other than Freddy Freddy Krueger I I and I think it's more for me the side of like um, the makeup because I'm so into makeup and I love special effects makeup. I think it's amazing. Um, what is it? There's a program called Face Off on Netflix. If you haven't seen it, I don't know whether it's still on there, but it's amazing. If you love special effects, it is amazing. You should totally watch that. But yeah, I think I appreciate it for that because of the makeup. And he's just an iconic character. Like I didn't watch <laughs> Freddy until I was a grown-up because I was too scared to watch it because obviously Freddy Krueger comes and gets you in your nightmares and that to me absolutely petrifies me because I like sleep and I don't want anybody coming into my dreams and wrecking them so no but if I had to say anything I would have to say Freddy 
And the, que ne the next question is a favourite scene or set piece from a movie? Um, I can't think of anything that makes me think this is my favourite scene from a movie, especially a horror movie. Um, obviously the ones that stick in my mind and I think that's more so because I've watched the movie recently is it like we all float down here um, so that's quite an iconic uh, scene uh, but I'm not like a huge like I say I'm not a massive horror buff so for me to recall I can't even recall my name most days so to recall a scene in the movie would be really difficult but obviously that's stuck in my mind because it's an iconic line. Um, question nine, it says, <laughs> if you had to stay in one horror movie mansion or location, where would it be and why? And it says some examples, Cramp, Cramp. it says Camp Crystal Lake, the Overlook Hotel, the, so the Sawyer Family Home. I don't know what Sawyer Family Home is. Um, I can't answer this question because I wouldn't stay anywhere. I would not stay anywhere that is haunted or has any sort of bad guy in it i'm when i watch horror movies i'm like why are you still in the house get out get out now while you still can i don't I just it's just like stupid people like why why are you still in there you're getting pulled out of the bed by an you know a supernatural being and you're still in that house why are you still in that house why have you not got somebody to come in and sort it out for you because there is no way Oh, I say that. I say that and I have experienced the paranormal and I did live there. <laughs> um, that's another story. Um, I, I can briefly sort of go into it, but it was um, a house that I lived in actually had some paranormal happenings going in and I have had paranormal experiences, which is why I'm so scared of that sort of thing because of experience in it makes it very, very real for me which makes me more scared um i've had a few paranormal experiences my mom when i was younger like very 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 young said that i would not go to bed because i kept saying there was somebody in my room um in fact i can't say that i can't explain that one because it could trigger people so i'm not going to explain that one that's not no, no no there's big triggers on that so i won't explain that one but i was very young and my mom said i i saw something in my bedroom um I lived in a house, uh, I don't live in that house now, uh, I didn't move out because of said spirits, um, I had to have words with said spirits and had to move said spirits on, but um, turning on my cooker, things like that, I wasn't very happy with because it was wasting of electricity, so um, I had to have a little word with, basically if you don't know about anything paranormal, generally if you're experiencing anything from the spirit and it's making you uncomfortable, generally if you just say look you're making me uncomfortable could you please leave generally most of the time they go and leave you alone um so yes i did have a bit of a sit down and a bit of a chat people probably thought i was crazy you guys probably think i'm crazy but it helped the cooker stopped turning on um so yeah i've had a few experiences with that so that's what probably makes me a little bit more scared of this sort of thing because people make movies about it and because i've experienced it it's kind of like yeah a bit weird so i would definitely not stay anywhere that i knew was highly highly haunted uh, but at the same time i'm going to edinburgh soon and i really really want to go into um oh i forgot what it's called now is it st mary's close oh you can i'm gonna be so off um and there is also the vault which is said to be inhabited by supernatural beings spirits whatever you want to call them so i really want to visit those places i mean i might may not experience anything at all um but if i do i'll let you know <laughs> but yeah so i'm going completely off topic and talking about spirits and all sorts of stuff and that's just what i do um so yeah that is that question i would not stay in any like sleep over in any scary place because it would scare the pants off me uh question 10 are there any horror movies you can't watch or refuse to watch because they disgust you so much um i probably wouldn't watch uh, friday the 13th again even though like it's probably really pants now um in comparison to some horror movies um but i think that's just because the child in me doesn't ever wants to see that again I've actually seen so, like there's so many horror movies I haven't seen. I've never seen Chucky. I have never seen, is it Child's Play? Is that what the Chucky one's called? Child's Play. I've actually never seen The Exorcist. Like, I've never seen it. 
I can't get past the credits. Like, I keep going to and I just never get into it, which is really strange because my husband says it's not scary at all, but for some reason I just can't do it. Um, but yeah, I'd have to say probably The Exorcist and um, Friday the 13th is not going back. I'm not going back there, ever. <laughs> And question, what are we on now? Question 11, have you got any horror crushes, an actor or a character or whatever, you nasty? No, <laughs> because I don't go out of my way to watch scary movies. So there's none that I just go, ooh, that killer's really nice. I really fancy him. He's stabbing in a really beautiful way. No, I, I <laughs> there is nobody that I can think of that I would go, oh yeah, <laughs> he stabbed me. <laughs> no so that is that question <laughs> i'm just gonna move straight on question 12 best horror movie to watch on halloween um i would probably have to say cheesy i would probably i don't know there isn't one that i would go oh we need to watch that but enigma 77 mentioned um rachel mentioned something called trick or treat and I haven't seen that, but since she mentioned it, I went and watched the trailer for it. And it doesn't look too scary. I don't know how scary it is, Rachel. You'll have to let me know because I don't want to be scared. Um, but the character looks, the main character looks quite cool. If that's anything that you could say, it would be a really good makeup. Really good makeup to do if you could do it. Um, but yeah, um, maybe maybe you could go and watch trick or treat it's called trick or treat it's halloween themed so yeah basically the theme around it is that on all hallows eve as everybody knows um the dead can rise again and come among us basically come among us be with us <laughs> and um, there are rules that you must follow on halloween on all hallows eve to keep the bad spirits at bay like things like lighting jack-o-lanterns trick or treats giving out treats um and what was it it said wearing costumes uh, and it said that one town doesn't obey these rules and then there's consequences to pay so it, it sounds really cool so maybe we'll have to watch that um the last question is question 13 and it says what is your guilty pleasure horror movie <sighs> as obviously as i've said i'm not a major horror buff fan whatever um but if i had to pick something i would probably have to say scream it is a classic when the first scream came out it was completely different completely new nobody expected the twist at the end but they overdid it they did they've done too many they just they just went a bit too far but if you had to watch you know one as a guilty pleasure it would be the first one and that was it yeah if they'd have just stopped there it would have been really good but they just went and they just went and did too many why, why do people do that with films they like they do one and they're like oh do you know what this went really great so let's do two three four five six no you go too far you ruin it for everybody that's my opinion anyway but yes that was my really rubbish horror tag <laughs> feel free to do this horror tag if you want i will list the questions in the description bar so you can see what they are um like i say i'm not a massive horror buff but i did this for you rachel enigma 77 reviews because you wanted to hear what my answers would be so yeah that is the horror tag i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did and you stuck around to the end and listened to me ramble on for ages that's amazing you should totally give yourself a thumbs up as well as me and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to the channel and see what else there is to come but i am gonna let you guys go i hope you have a great day night morning evening whatever it is you're doing when you're watching this don't have nightmares and i'll see you in the next one bye